Okay, one thing that's important to know is the difference between objects and instances. And so what I've done here is I've made three objects here. I've not really done anything with them, but I've just made a red square, a blue square, and a green square. A green square, if I can speak properly. Now these at the moment don't do anything, and they've got like sprites, so they've got like images, and I'm going to be putting them in the room. So this is actually going to be physical objects, but do not worry about that just yet. And I'll just zoom out a bit here. And as you can see, this is a room. Actually, zoom in a bit. There is the control object. Now, say if I want to put these objects in the room. Say if I want to have a green one there, a green one there, and you have to come over to here to click to choose object. I want a red one there and a blue one there. Okay. So here we have a basic, I'll turn the grid off so you can see it better. Well, it's not really a game, but these are objects. You've got two green things, a red thing, and a blue thing. I haven't given them any code yet or anything, so at the moment these are just blank. They just sit there and they do nothing. But we're here to think about hypothetical situations here. Now, say if these are enemies, for example. So think about the different things that enemies have in games. Well, they might have different amounts of health. Some enemies take more hits to kill. Some enemies are stronger than others. They've got all sorts of different types of things different to them. They might move in different fashions. Now, let's say that if the blue touches the green, the green loses one HP. Now, the main thing that I want to make clear here is that these two green squares here are both the same object, but they are different instances. I'll explain what I mean. They are the same object because if you look into your objects list and you click on OBJ green here, they'll have the same code. You can add events, add different events, add different piece of pieces of code, make them do all sorts of weird and wonderful things. But they are both the same. They are both running off exactly the same piece of code. But they are both instances different to one another. And what I mean by that is, I've said before, if the blue touches the green, and again, this is a hypothetical, this hasn't been programmed in or anything, I haven't done anything at this point, I'm just explaining. If we wanted to make it so that if the blue touches the green, then the green loses one health. If it touches this instance, this green one, then this green one will lose health. Even though they're both the same object and they run off the same code, they are still both individuals. If the blue touches this green one, this green one will lose health, but this green one won't, because it's, re it's regarding the instances, not the objects themselves. The best way to think of this is to think about, well, any enemy in any game, re really, that think about something as basic as, basic as space invaders. You have the aliens, that they, they all have the same pattern, they all move left to right and then when they move so many spaces they move down and they all move to the left bit by bit. They all shoot bullets out every so often. They've all, they're all running off the same bit of information, they've all given the same commands. But if you kill one of them, you're only killing that particular one, that particular instance. So that's just an important note to make, the difference between an instance and the overall object.